Well, what actually is selling in the month of March? Let's find out. Bonjour tout le monde, Jennifer here with a What Sold video. If you are new to my channel, hi, uh, my name is Jennifer and I am a full-time teacher and a part-time reseller. And my YouTube channel is dedicated to that reselling business. Um, so today what I'm bringing you is a What Sold video. We are going to look at some, not all, some of my sales for the first two weeks of March, March 1st through the 15th. Um, I go through three categories. I will do anything that's sold for $25 and up. That is not including if the buyer paid shipping or anything like that. If it's sold for 25 and up, we'll go over it. I will include a category that I call honorable mention, which is anything that's sold for around 20 to 24.90. I tend to price a lot of things at 24.90. Um, and then we will go through a category that I call fast lane. Fast lane is anything that sells in 30 days or less of me listing it. 30 days or less of me listing it, listing it. And then we'll look at my totals, my total numbers for the first two weeks of March. I am going to preface this by saying I'm worried about March. It just isn't going according to my goals. <laughs> so I'm not like selling as much as I was hoping. So, um, but anyway, it's okay. I'm selling things. So let's get started. Our first sale, and I will read you my titles exactly as I write them. Um, so that, you know, it can help you with keywords and, and ways to title your items. Okay. This is the raw, and I'll pop it up here. Robert Graham shirt, men's large, blue, white, button-up, embroidered flip cuff floral. I found this at the bins, so my average cost on this was about $1.50. This sold on eBay for $25.50. And after shipping and everything, my profit was um, 1921 Now, there's been a little um, drama with this one. When I dropped it off at the post office, whoever was scanning the packages, instead of scanning them received, they had the hand scanner marked as delivered. So it showed that it was delivered to my post office and that someone from the post office picked it up. And I was like, no. And I had to open a case like with the USPS. I called several that my post office, the post office is supposed to go to. Um, luckily the, a person, a representative at the post office where it was supposed to go in Las Vegas, um, got in touch with me. She was really great to work with. And this package has made it to its destination, but the buyer has been unhappy over this situation. He or she, whoever has not left feedback yet. And I'm a little worried. But I stayed on it. I kept the buyer up to date. I feel like I did my part as a seller. So fingers crossed. I don't get negative feedback. Of course, on eBay, they have to wait a week before they can give negative feedback. And, you know, maybe they won't. But, um, yeah, that, that's been a stressful one. Um, the, that post office, my local post office did that with two packages. One started tracking, like it tracked wrong, saying delivered. And I was like, what? And then the next day it started up just fine. But this, this Robert Graham shirt, of course, the, the more expensive of the two things <laughs> would, would not track correctly. I'm just like, uh, anyway, let's hope everything turns out. Okay. I'll, um, if I think about it, I'll try to keep you guys updated on maybe the next what sold video for the second half of March. Okay. Next one, we have a vintage sweatshirt that I found at the bins. This is the Acorn Leisure Garden Cat Large Slash Extra Large Crew Neck Pullover Sweatshirt Vintage Cream because it was a cream color. It had cats on it. I mean, it was fabulous. Anything with cats on it is fabulous, right? 
Um, this did come from the bins. My average cost of goods that day was $1.67 per item. I sold it for $30 on Poshmark and my profit was $22.33. I had gotten a lot of low offers on this and I said no. I knew I was the only one in the United States that had one. All the other ones like this that were Acorn Leisure and had some kind of, you know, kind of little old lady granny graphic on it um, were in Great Britain. I was the only one in the U.S. that had one. So I wasn't going to take a low offer and I waited for an offer that I could live with come in. And I'm glad I did. I'm glad I did that. All right. Next, we have a pair of hiking boots or hiking shoes. All right, next, we have these hiking shoes, hiking boots. These are the Men's North Face Vective Explorus <laughs> Mid Future Light. I was just writing everything that was on there. Boots, size 11, camo hiking shoes. So I was just writing everything that was in, you know, somebody else's title. Honestly, I probably copied somebody else's listing um, with Sell Similar and just um, kind of rearranged wording and sizing and everything else. Anyway, these sold on Poshmark for $45. Um, and my cost of goods, these came in a thread up shoebox. My cost of goods was $6 per pair. And so I profited $30 on these shoes. Happy as I can be about that. Okay. Next, uh, what do we got? Oh, we have a shirt. I've had this shirt for a little while. And I was, I was surprised that I had it for this long. I will say that. Surprised I had it for this long because I remember picking it up in a Goodwill, regular retail Goodwill store. And the comps on it were really good. Sell-through rate was really good. So I'm surprised it sat for this long. Anyway, this is a Grateful Dead button-up rainbow tie-dye crop top shirt dancing bears tie front medium buttons up you know you can see a picture it has a little tie in the front super cutesy super festive or festival type thing this sold on mercari for 27 dollars. like i said when i looked it up it had really good comps my cost of goods uh from that day averaged three dollars per item and after fees and everything i profited 1987 off of that shirt all right Next, we have another um, shoe sale from a Thread Up shoe box. And honestly, for the life of me, I can't remember if they were both from the same box. Let me see. Okay. These, my favorite brand of tennis shoe to wear. This is the Brooks Women's Levitate um, Stealth Fit GTS 5, size 8, running shoes, black, white. So, um, this was a pair of women's running shoes. They weren't my size. I might've kept them if they were, um, but they did come out of a thread up shoe box. I sold them on Mercari for $27. That shoe box, like I said, average cost of a pair was $6. So I profited $16 and 79 cents off of those Brooks. Okay. And this is a quick one, y'all. The, um, last item in the um this category i'm like words are hard today in the 25 and up category is a pair of sandals so you see several shoes are selling i'm trying to get to them here they are these are the jack jack rogers watermelon slice sandals size six mint green leather fruit cocktail coastal I, not fruit cocktail. Oh Lord, fruit coastal. All right. <laughs> anyway, these sold on Mercari for $25. Um, so these are from the Brighton stash. Um, my friend Brighton um agreed. I'm selling some of the clothes and shoes that he's picked up in his thrifting adventures, and we're you know, we've worked out a commission with each other on um, who gets what. So anyway, the profit on those was $21.07. Jack Rogers is a decent brand to sell, but look them up. If you find them in the store, look them up. Because like I've got a pair of Jack Rogers booties 
that have been sitting in my closet for two years. They will not move. And it's because they don't look like quintessential Jack Rogers. Jack Rogers is known for, you know, little fruit and cutesy flip flops and things like that. Not for a pair of boots that you can't see anything that is noticeably Jack Rogers, if, if that makes sense. So look up what you find. Check comps before you um, drop, you know, money on those. All right. Let's go into honorable mention. And the first thing we have an honorable mention, cashmere scarf. I think, yes, this came in a thread up scarf box. I did a collab video with some of my friends and I'll pop it up here. I'm pretty sure this one came in that thread up collab box. Um, yeah, it sure did. So this is a cashmere scarf made in Germany, animal print, vintage, hand tailored pink black so it was an animal pink pink and black animal print and this sold on ebay for 21 dollars and 17 cents i think that box is paid for now um i think i've sold like two scarves and and i'm already in the profit on that box if you like selling scarves that box is a good deal for what you get anyway um my cost of goods for those were about a dollar for per scarf and um, profit on that was $15.73. This person bought two scarves from me on eBay. They didn't try to bundle them, so I refunded some of the shipping um, to that person since I was able to ship them together. All right, next honorable mention. These are Talbots. Women's denim jeans, curvy boot cut size 16L, high rise, white, long. So, um, white jeans, gotta be brave to buy white jeans. Anyway, at least for me, um, I want to say that I got these at diversity. Um, so that's what I'm going with. I honestly can't remember. I did put my cost of goods at $2. So these, these sold on eBay for $21.17. I must have been sending out offers that day because I have like three things that sold for $21.17. Um, so yeah, they sold for $21.17. So after my cost of goods and fees and everything, I profited $15.03 on these jeans. All right next oh we have a vintage piece next absolutely beautiful vintage piece and i know that this piece came from a goodwill vintage blue box so at buybluebox.com they drop boxes every friday jewelry jeans clothes you name it Probably my favorite is the jewelry box and the vintage box. I uh, love the vintage box. And when they offer the vintage boxes on sale, I kind of can't resist. But um, anyway, this is the Vintage Lily Hand Embroidered Blouse Flowers Asian Style Snap Front Size Medium. So this blouse sold on eBay for $19.90. Uh, my cost of goods in the vintage box is about $2 per item. And after all was said and done, I profited $14.61. All right, next honorable mention, we have a dress. This is the Old Navy Women's 3X Floral Tiered Smocked V-Neck Maxi Dress Pink Mauve Stretch. My cost of goods on this was $1.67. I did get it at the bins. I don't run around picking up everything Old Navy. But when it's plus size, when it has smocking, and it's kind of currently trending like a ditzy floral tiered maxi that is great for summer, sure, I will pick it up at the bins. I will not pay full like thrift store retail price for it. Okay. Anyway, this sold on eBay for $21.17. So see, I, I think I just sent out some crazy offers. Um, and after cost of goods and shipping or everything else, $15.23 went into my pocket. 
All right, and then the last thing in honorable mention is a piece of jewelry. Okay, do love selling some jewelry. We gotta get to the other page. So what I'm doing is going through my Vendu. Vendu is the um, platform I use to cross list to all of my platforms and to keep track of my inventory, keep track of my spending, keep track of what I'm earning so that it just is all in one place. I absolutely love using Vendu for this. Um, what it costs me per month, two sales cover it. Two sales a month cover the cost that I pay for Vendu. So to me, it's 100% worth it. Um, all right, anyway, this is the Brighton Purple Stone Silver Plated Bracelet with Charm Chunky Toggle Clasp. Oh, I named it something. Anyway, um, I don't have a gem tester. I would not have been, so I couldn't test to see what the purple stones were, so I just called them purple stones. Um, anyway, and it sold on Poshmark for $22 even, and um, it came, It the sale came through an offer from Flip. So I use Flip to share my closet, to send out offers, to follow people, you know, send offers to likers and things like that. And when Flip sends out an offer, they also send out a shipping discount. Normal shipping on Poshmark is $7.99. When Flip sends out an offer, they send out an offer of $5.95 shipping, which means out of my pocket, I paid $2.02 .02 in shipping. So $22.00. After I paid the two oh two in shipping, I profited twelve dollars and fifty eight cents. My cost of goods on this I have at three dollars. I can't remember. I I got it in a mystery box. I know I got it in a mystery box, but I can't remember which one. So um, I just you know I put my cost of goods as three dollars. So I profited twelve dollars and fifty eight cents on that bracelet. Okay. That's, that's all for the 25 and up and for the honorable mention. Let's, um, let's go through fast lane. Now, here's the way I do the fast lane. I will pop up right here a list of the things that sold quickly that we've already covered. Okay, first, Acorn Leisure. Um, it sold in 30 days. The North Face Boots sold in nine days, and the Brooks Levitate sold in five days. Now, the rest of the items, the rest of the Fastlane items, they didn't fit into either one of those other categories, meaning they sold for under $20, but they sold in less than 30 days. So, um, I am okay with that. I love a fast, fast flip. All right, the first one, I feel like I should be kind of sick to my stomach about. <laughs> and I, as soon as it happened, I called my buddy Brighton. I said, I think I messed up, man. I think I messed up. If I did, I did. Okay. If I did, so be it. Um, you know, sometimes weird things happen in reselling world. All right. Oh, all right. I, I don't even have a good title for this because it sold before I could get it cross-listed. It sold before I could even load it into Vendu. I literally put it in eBay. It literally sold in two minutes. I priced it wrong. I think I priced it wrong. Anyway, this was a Douglas Cuddle toy. Love selling this plush. I don't know why. I love them. When I find them, I buy them, I sell them. And I love selling Douglas the Cuddle toy. And this was a little like toy spaniel like a springer spaniel and it had little freckles on their face and i ran comps and i thought i did a good job pricing it maybe the one i had was rare or something i just know it had like freckles or it looked like little freckles on its cheeks and things like that but somebody snapped it up immediately um so this thing sold in two minutes of listing it for $14.90. I've already gotten positive feedback. This person is really happy with their purchase. So 
I paid a dollar for it. I'll be okay. <laughs> but should I have priced it higher? Maybe. Maybe. So there we go. One fast lane. Potential mistake. But I'm okay. I'll be all right. Um, so hopefully somebody is just tickled pink that they have this little Springer Spaniel. Okay. Next. Next. Where is it? Ah, this beautiful blouse. Beautiful blouse. This is the Chico's size two, which is about a medium um, tapestry print button up blouse size 12 to 14 blue floral silky soft top it wasn't made from silk but it sure felt like silk anyway it sold um on ebay for 15 dollars and 31 cents and it sold in 29 days so right under that 30 mark beautiful blouse absolutely beautiful all right next this one might be coming back to me y'all um the person did open a return on this and i do offer returns on ebay um if it doesn't fit if you don't like it whatever um i'm i'm fine with that you know i don't want to be stuck with something i don't want it either this is a democracy shirt women's floral top size medium flared sleeve green yellow tassels it had little tassels on the end um, it sold on eBay for $14.81 and it sold within nine days of me listing it. Now the person did uh, file for a return and, and they said, Hey, this top is beautiful. It just doesn't fit me in my chest. I would like to return it. I said, you know, that's fine with me. Go ahead and return it. Um, now eBay gives, <sighs> eBay gives them like a month to return it. I think that's ridiculous. So they have until April 2nd to get this thing in the mail to me. I'm still waiting. Um, it's March 24th. This thing sold on March 4th and they still haven't returned it yet. So, I, you know, people get busy. It'll, it should come back to me. The, the return is approved. So all they have to do is print a label and pop it in the mail. Um, so I am expecting that one back. And when, it, oh, when that does come back, I will delete it from my Vendu and it will take that money out of my, like my profit so that, you know, it won't mess up my profit stuff. Okay. Next, we have a Talbot's blouse. Another piece of drama. There's always drama. Always. All right. <laughs> this came out of my personal closet. I just never wore it. And I really need to pare down my closet. Anyway, this sold on eBay for $19.92 and it sold in 16 days of me listing it. It had like um, Parisian monuments all over it. I'm a French teacher. Why not have a blouse with the Eiffel Tower and the Arc de Triomphe and several other monuments all over it. Little bicycles and cafes. Um, but the person messaged me, the person who bought it. Um, she was unhappy with the discoloration on the back. It, there was some discoloration on the back of the neck, which I pointed out, I took pictures of, um, but she said, this is worse than I thought. You know, it, it looks worse than it did in the pictures. And she said, refund my money. That was the very last words in the message. And I said, I offer free returns. Please start the return process through eBay and I will be happy to get your money back when the shirt gets sent to me. Crickets. Haven't heard a word since. So listen, if if somebody does that, you know, kind of messages you like that on eBay and you do offer returns within 30 days, tell them to file the return. It doesn't hurt your you know, you're standing with eBay as long as you complete the transaction accordingly. It's not going to hurt your standing with eBay. Um, so, but don't just panic and refund the money, okay? Get your item back. If you really want it back, get your item back, okay? I, it may be something you don't want back and you just refund their money. If you do, that's you. That's your business. Um, but I want the shirt back because I think I can sell it again. And, um, so I just said, you know, please start the return process. Like I said, they haven't started anything yet. They do have 30 days from the purchase. 
and it sold on March the 6th. So they have another week or so, another week or so to start the return process. Um, anyway, we'll see what happens. All right, next we have a pair of jeans. Um, let me, oh, here they are. All right, these are silver jeans. Silver jeans used to do well. I think about a year or so ago, they were doing really well. They've sort of fallen off a little bit. But these are silver blue jeans, size 16, denim, mid-rise Suki, that was a style name, flat pocket, slim boot women's pants. Okay. Um, they sold, where did they sell at? They sold on Poshmark for $17. I got them at the bins, so my cost of goods was like a dollar. Um, they sold in 20 days of listing them. And my profit was $12.60. So they sold quickly, 20 days. All right. And let's see, we have, we got a few things in the fast lane. We have this Chico's necklace. I love selling Chico's jewelry. Love selling Chico's jewelry. This is the Chico's long silver tassel, no, long silver toned multi-strand necklace with tassel and faux rhinestones. Um, And, it, you know, that's exactly what it was. So great piece. Um, it sold on Mercari for $13, and it sold in 20 days of listing it. So, and my profit, my cost of goods was $1.67. I think it came in a Shop Goodwill auction lot, and my profit on that was $9.01. All right, and then the last thing in the fast lane was a Columbia shirt. Let me get to it. We have... Um, we have the Columbia PFG button-up shirt, women's extra large peach, fishing, outdoor hiking, sleeveless. So this came from the stash that my sister gave me. So the money for this going towards the Presidium. I believe I have all the money I need to buy the Presidium. I am just holding off. Um, right now I had a few weeks ago, my cat Otis got very, very sick and ended up in the emergency room. And we're not gonna talk about how much that cost me of three days in an emergency room with a cat, but that's my cat, okay? Um, so I'm holding off, <laughs> the money is sitting in my bank, but I'm kind of trying to build things back up from that little trip. Anyway, this sold for $15 on Mercari, and my cost of goods was zero. So after everything, my profit was $12.42. So there you have it. Now that wasn't all my sales, but those are the ones that fit into the categories that I like to cover in my What Sold videos. Um, all right, now let's look at how many things sold and all of that good stuff. All right, um, I'm trying to remember what order I did this in. I had, I sold 29 items in from March 1st through the 15th. I guess, what is that average? About two things a day. Again, I, I'm not a high volume seller. That's okay. This is my hobby. It's not my business. I mean, it is my business. It's my hobby. It's not what pays the bills. Teaching pays the bills. Okay. My net, what went in my pocket, what came home with me after all was said and done $391.76. There are a lot of people who do more than me. There are a lot of people who do less than me. I am, I'm happy with that. My average sales price, it is not where I want it to be goal-wise. Um, right now it's at, my average sale price is $21.61. I would like for that ASP to be a little bit higher. Um, you know, we're, we're trying, we're trying. Um, the best way I can do that is to list things, you know, with a high, um, average sale price. And I don't always have that. Sometimes I just have basics to list. So, you know, it's, and, and right now people are not buying. I don't know how, if you're a reseller, how sales are for you, but March has been a struggle. And I was just paying attention the other day to gas prices and they have spiked. Um, gas in my area right now is $3 and 55 cents a gallon. When gas spikes up like that, People stop spending. I don't know if you've noticed that, but people start hanging on to that wallet a little bit tighter and you can understand it. I mean, really, gas moves our world around and 
we stop going places and we make every trip count and things like that because gas hits our pocket. For those of us that work outside the home, we need it to be able to get to work to make more money to buy more gas. So <laughs> the vicious cycle, right? So it makes sense that people might be tightening the purse strings. Um, and that's kind of why I'm glad I have some lower price things because that can still help with some sales when you, you kind of want to buy something, but you don't want to spend a lot. You know, you need that retail therapy, but you don't want to spend a ton. So it all kind of works out for me. All right. Um, but anyway, so we went over those. Um, I had 14 sales on eBay. I had eight sales on Poshmark. I had seven sales on Mercari. So we see eBay outperforms. Um, but Posh and Mercari together, you know, they kind of add up to the eBay sales. I had one day out of those two weeks, no sales at all. Not bad. The second half isn't looking like that. I've got several days with no sales whatsoever. Um, anyway, and yeah, that's it. Those are my totals. That's everything. I hope that this video helps you know what to pick up, how to title things, and, um, you know, helps you with your business in reselling. So if you like this video, if you learned something new, would you please give it a thumbs up? If you haven't already subscribed to the channel, I would love it if you subscribed. Um, recently hit the magic 1000 subscribers number. Of course, I want to build from there. I am trying to plan a giveaway for 1000. I am just trying to think of what I want to do. More than likely, I will do whatever's easiest for me because <laughs> my life stays so busy. I just want to make it easy. Um, but anyway, maybe I'll plan, be planning it this week so that I can launch it next week during spring break when I have more time on my hands. So I'll be looking out for a giveaway video. Anyway, um, so like, subscribe if you haven't already. And until the next video, I'm going to say a tout à l'heure. See you later.